One of the issues that I've had in the past is being able to sync up audio and video that I've recorded externally. Now, Premiere Pro does an amazing job of letting you sync the audio with the video. But I've discovered another program that I've been using for a little while now, and it's called Plurize. What I've got on screen here is I have all my media that I've recorded with the Ninja V. I'm going to click and I'm going to go Command A, and I'm just going to drag it into Plurize. Now, Plurize is a program that just everything syncs up automatically, regardless of the amount of cameras you have or the audio devices that you've used to record your audio. Now notice here that you have some buttons up top, which is add media, but I've just dragged it in, which you can do. You have synchronize and you have export timeline. Over here, if I click on show media, it will then show the media files. And if I click, it goes away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on synchronize. And one of the things I want you to notice is how fast this program works. So we have 18 clips ready to synchronize. I'm going to click synchronize. And that's it. That's right. You saw it. That's it. So now what happens is all the red files here are files that they don't need to be used. They're no good. And then the blue files here, the audio and the video files, it was been synced up at the right time. So now if I go down to, if I click on media and if I click play here, you can actually see some of the media down here that's going to play before I got started. If I then come up now and click on the export timeline, I have the option of choosing save file to. So I'm going to come over and save it to a folder here leave it with the same name. And now the beauty of this program is that I have the ability to create a sequence with the audio replace. Now the audio is going to replace is the audio from the camera that was taken and replace it with the audio that I recorded externally on the Zoom H6. And so if I click export and that's it. Now notice down here that I have the XML file. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open Premiere Pro and Let's work with it in Premiere Pro. Now inside of Premiere, we have two choices. The first choice is that I can actually create a new project and work with it, but I don't need to do that. If I was working on a particular project, I could open that project up and then import the XML file into it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click open project. I'm going to navigate to where I have the project at, and I'm going to select the XML file. When I do, notice now that I have the files that come inside of Premiere and I'm ready to work with. But that's not the beauty of the program. The beauty of the program is if I click on Sync Replace, I no longer have to deal with the stuff right here. So this would require me, because I shot on a Ninja and I shot on a Zoom, these are blank tracks. I would have to come in, delete all the tracks from here, the red ones that are no longer needed. I would then have to come over here and select all that, then unlink them. But that's unnecessary because the beauty of Plurize is that it actually puts all the files into a sequence that has the good audio in it. I hope this video was of use to you.